This is the world's largest refugee camp. 700,000 Rohingya Muslims live here in makeshift shelters in Cox's Bazaar. Four out of five are women and children. Among the threats to them, human trafficking. Shukatora, 15 years old, recently fell into the hands of a trafficker when she ventured outside the camp. We went to a hospital and then my mother wanted to buy something and I was on my own. At that point a man in a car called over to me and told me he'd drive me back home. After a while he forced me onto a bus and that was when I understood and I started crying. She was taken on a journey of a night and a day to the Indian border. She was raped several times and only managed to escape in the early hours of one morning she went to police who told her she would have been sold. Young women abducted in this way often end up in prostitution networks across Asia. The UN says thousands of Rohingya are victims of human trafficking. They will tell you several things to try and take your daughter. They'll propose a good marriage, offer her work, and afterwards they'll abuse her more and more. This is human trafficking. The Indian capital, New Delhi, is 2,500 kilometers from the Rohingya camp. This girl, Shabika, is 13. She was kidnapped with four other girls and transported by car, bus and train for seven days and then sold to an Indian man for 1,200 euros. They took me to a house and locked me in a room with a bed in it. The traffickers said I was their niece. Three or four people arrived and there was a discussion. After I was sold, they counted the money right in front of me. I felt the world had fallen in, that my life was over. I sat down and cried and couldn't stop crying. She managed to escape after 18 months, at which point she was pregnant. Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh have no way of lodging complaints or initiating proceedings because they have no access to police or a justice system. They have no nationality and no ID, and that adds to their vulnerability.